Right, in this video we're going to discuss estimation and rounding and what I've done is I've made up a really large amount of money and if I was to read that to you I would say 2,309,506,311 dollars. Now quite often when we have really large numbers in real life we don't read the whole number out. You might look at this and go oh look it's about or it's approximately two billion dollars all right and I really want to emphasize that word approximately because we use this word quite often in maths in fact there's a symbol that means approximately and it looks like two curvy lines so this symbol here is saying that this amount is approximately equal to two billion dollars now when you round numbers, uh, in this case we basically made every number zero except the two and that's because the two is the digit with the highest value out of all of these. Sometimes you might not want to just have one digit, you might want to pick two of them. So you might want to go, oh, we'll keep the two and the three and make the rest zero. And I'll just say it's approximately two billion three hundred million dollars. There's also another symbol you can use, which is an equal sign with a dot above and below, and they basically mean the same thing. So you've got two symbols to choose from when you're saying that something is approximately equal. All right, so next, something that's really important is to discuss when you round down and when you round up. So for example, let's say I have... Um, Let's say I have $22, and I'm going to say, well, that's approximately equal to $20, all right? And the reason for that is the 22 is really close to the 20. But what if you have something like $28? What's that approximately equal to? Well, you'll notice that the 28 is actually closer to the 30 than it is to the 20. So in this case, we're going to round up. So with the 22, we rounded down, and with the 28, we rounded up. And one that gets people quite confused is, what if you have 25 or, or 25 dollars? Do we round up to 30, or do we round down to 20? And we're, I'm going to tell you that we're going to round up to 30 and even though it's exactly halfway, everyone has just agreed that if it's on the 5, we always round up. So that's something that I guess you could say the mathematicians have all just agreed on. All right, now you'll notice at the top I've, I've given some a couple of dot points that really helps and it says if the next digit is a number from 0 to 4, round down. What does that mean? Well, you'll notice 0 to 4 are these numbers, and all of these numbers would round down to 20, and the numbers that are 5 to 9 um, are these numbers, and you'll notice that all of these numbers will round up to 30, and that's how you can tell whether you round up or down uh, by looking at the next digit. Okay, so let's do, let's do a little bit more, and we're going to discuss, is it closer to 250 or 260? So if I take the number um, 253, that's going to be closer to 250. So I would say approximately equal to 250. If I had the number 259, I would say it's approximately equal to 260. And of course, if you've got 255, you would round up. You would say it's approximately equal to 260. 